Hi Sagittarius, it's your honest homegirl Keisha Neek and this is your intuitive timeless reading. So when you see this reading, this reading is for you. Take what resonates, what doesn't resonate, leave for another healing homie. With that said, if you are new to my channel, what's up? How are you? If you are returning healing homie, what's up gang? I missed you guys. How I do my readings, I do your intuitive message first and then I get into your honest talk and tarot session. So with that said, let's get into your intuitive message. Now, Sagittarius. I've been telling you guys to slow down for a couple of weeks now, about half the year, okay? And the reason why is because you will eventually hit a plateau. You will eventually bump your toe. You will eventually be forced to sit down, literally, okay? Because you're always go, 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 go. And the spirit is like, when are you going to rest? When are you going to sit down? Oh, you don't want to listen? Well, now I'm going to make you sick. Oh, you don't want to listen? Now I'm going to make you bump your toe and now you can't walk nowhere. And you don't want to listen? It, spirit is like you need to get proper rest, Sagittarius. It's okay to be busy. I know some of y'all naturally just have all this energy, one, one, one on the phone. And it's like, I think I... I said something and one, I saw one, one, one on the phone. I think it was Pisces. So if you got Pisces in your chart, go watch that Pisces reading. Um, if you have Pisces placements. Uh, for others of you, you know, the thing is you could be real cranky right now because of the fact that you have lack of sleep. Okay. You, you can't get proper rest. A lot of you guys can't get proper rest because you're overthinking. Okay. You're literally just thinking about this, thinking about that, thinking about this. When are you going to think about you? Shoot, you even forgot about your babies, your plants. They over there dying. They waiting on you. The thing is, your luck ain't going to run out. You you will always be ruled by Jupiter. So it's like, when are you going to sit there and realize that? Don't mind the pimple on my chin if you can see it. <laughs> um, some of you can be just worried about your face breaking out. Whatever. I don't know. But my thing is, shoot, you, your face breaking out because you ain't getting enough rest. You're cranky. Now you're stressed. And then this is why all these things are happening when all you got to do is rest and receive right now. Spirit literally wants you to rest and receive. You may sit there and be thinking, you know, you'll be a fool to rest and receive. But guess what? When are you going to take that leap of faith? Two, two, two on the phone. It's okay to rest and receive. Sometimes it takes for you to nurture yourself and replenish your body and, and, and clear your mind for you to see things in a different light. And you will be like, oh, wow, I was over there overthinking when the answer was right there this whole time. But you didn't even take this, the, that that second, that day, that those three days, that weekend, that that week to sit to sit down, to even realize that that you already had things balanced out, that you already see something happening, and you you just didn't notice it because you're too busy doing too much. Like you, like I said, your luck ain't going nowhere, Sagittarius. I don't know what what, what you rushing for. You speed into nowhere. It's like. So I see somebody in a in a fast car speeding only to sit there and get caught at the red light just like everybody else that you just cut in front of and went around. And then people in the back is laughing at you because it's like, you did that for what? You still got to wait. Like, you still got to wait. So it doesn't matter at the end of the day. It's going to come. It's going to happen, you know, but you, you, you still got to wait. So what are you rushing for? But if that has resonated so far with you, Sagittarius, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. It really helps my channel go, grow, and I really appreciate the love and the support. Don't forget to comment down below where you're from, okay? I would love to know. And if it resonated with you, also let me know in the comments below. And if you guys like live readings from me, make sure you're following me on Instagram at The Honest Homegirl, okay? And daily horoscopes are on TikTok. The honest home girl there too honest home girl all the way oh wait actually it's tiktok it's no that's twitter twitter is at underscore home girl but uh if you follow me on instagram you'll see my tweets up there too so unless you're a twitter fanatic and you'd rather be on twitter it's honest underscore home girl all right what's going on with sagittarius yeah, see, you guys are not having the courage to just have faith. Not having the courage or having that mustard seed of faith that even if you rest, that everything is going to be okay. You have doubt. A lot of doubt. If you don't get it done today, it ain't going to get done tomorrow. If you don't say this today, 
it will never be said. And it's like, some of you guys, there's something that you're not having the courage to speak about. And for others of you, something's going to be revealed. You may not want to see something, but it's like you can't unsee what you saw. You can't unhear what you heard. Could be about a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius here. It could be about uh, a woman that you you know that's divorced. Some of you guys, you have some type of ability, psychic abilities that you may be afraid of, scared of, okay? And it's like, you may want to speak to this person because this person may embrace their gifts, okay? There may be someone that embraces their gifts versus you are avoiding your gifts and don't want to talk about your gifts. Maybe they scare you. I'm not going to lie to you too. When I first um, started having prophetic dreams and I didn't want to believe it. And then when it would happen, I'd be like, oh, snap. And then I ended up not having dreams anymore after I had a prophetic dream of my grandmother passing away and um, verbatim that dream. Everything that happened in that dream was exactly how it happened in real life right in front of me. Me holding her hand, telling her that I needed her. And next thing you know, the machine in the hospital just went beep. And I was just like, you got to be kidding me. But it was like, at the same time, that dream prepared me to say, okay, let me go spend time with her. Even though at first I was kind of like, nah, 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 nah. I'm going to avoid it. I'm going to avoid it. I ain't going to say nothing. I ain't coming to see her. I don't want to see her. I don't want to talk to her because it's like... If I do, then it's going to happen sooner than later. So I was selfish. I don't know why Spirit's telling me to tell you this, read it, this, uh, what happened, but I was selfish. And then she ended up in the hospital. Well, she was already in the hospital and, you know, she, weeks went by or I think a couple days went by or whatever it was. I can't really remember if it was like a week or two or if it was a couple of days, but it was like, I had my family members calling me, telling me like, yo, Keisha, you need to come down here. You need to come down here. And I was like, no, I'm not coming down there because I had that dream. And I was like, no. Um, I ended up getting down there, finally got down there. You know, I, you know, I combed her hair like I used to, file her nails, you know, grease her up, massage her, talk to her like I always used to do. And it was like, I was grateful. Now that I'm healed, it's like, I'm, I'm grateful to have been able to do those things for my grandmother, knowing that she passed away with her family around her, knowing that I was able to sit there and put her in some type of comfort and, you know, beautify her and nurture her, you know, before that happened. And it's like, you may have seen something, you know, that you don't want to believe. And it's like, that's, you, you can't, you can't. It, you can't stop what's meant to happen, okay? And you may, uh, I feel like you may sit there and tell somebody about a dream you had. It's like you may have been holding on to this. This is the only way you'll be able to move forward to is like, if once you release it, you'll feel a little better, okay? Because some, it's like you, you'll get a relief of letting somebody else know what you know. And especially if this person here uh, especially this person here knows about gifts and dreams and things like that, you'll feel, you'll have more comfort with telling this person because they understand you because you may not have a lot of family members that believe in this type of stuff. Yeah, you question, they may question if what you're dreaming is really true or not. Or an Aquarius sat there and told you some prophetic dreams and you're just like, 
you don't want to believe it because it's, it's just like you don't want to sit there and you don't want to know about bad things. You, it's like you're the sign that likes to see the good, uh, have a lot of positivity, be optimistic and stuff like that. So it's like when you see these type of things or hear these type of things, you don't, you're like, nah, I don't want to hear that. But it's like, it may, I'm getting two to tell you guys, just because something happens in a dream too, doesn't necessarily mean it's those exact people. You get what I'm saying? So say for instance, you dreamt of somebody, I don't want to say nobody's name to put that on them, but say you dreamt of somebody, you know, passing or getting in a car accident or anything right or something bad happening to somebody or just a bad event occurring somewhere the situation could happen in real life and it could happen to people that you know but it may not be the exact people that's in the dream so it's like they don't want you fearing those things it's like your foresight is to prepare you for things not to scare you all right but others of you you could be overlooking a leo and secrets are going to be revealed about this person. This person could have a, a wife, an ex-wife that they still deal with, okay? For others of you, this could be you finding out that someone that you were dealing with is recently divorced. And now you're questioning if you should even take this person seriously. For some of you too... You may find out that someone that you thought passed away did not pass away. Well, the secret is the fact that whoever you thought died in the dream, it wasn't that person, it's somebody else. It may not be the person you think it is. For some of you guys, you're being blocked from talking to a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or this air sign has blocked you in some way, shape, or form. If you can't get through to them, your ex-wife has blocked you. She don't want nothing to do with you anymore. Especially if you've been divorced. It's like, and if you divorce the air sign, oh, they go into the live their best life elsewhere. Ain't no coming back, Jack. Um... For others of you, you're getting aha moments about stuff. So it's like things that you try to block out, whether it's your psychic gifts, whether it's you just having the courage to speak up and speak your truth, or you seeing through some someone or something, you know, you're going to wake up. Because I feel like spirit needs you to slow down so you can physically see what is going on around you. Because for some of you, you may be questioning someone's integrity, somebody's faith, somebody questioning this Leo. You could be questioning somebody. And it's like you can't see things clearly with this person until you sit down. And once you sit down, you can put two and two together and figure it out, figure it out. But you won't be able to figure anything out until you sit down. For a lot of you, you can't see what you need to see because you're you're not disciplined enough. You're not practicing your gifts enough. You're not embracing the fact that you have these gifts. Okay? For some of you guys, if you were in the military, if you guys are in some type of government job or something like that, they may not like the fact that you have these gifts. Or you could be in an institution somewhere and they may not like the fact that you have these gifts. They Something is blocking your third eye from being open. A belief system, the government, something. I don't know. Something is stopping you. It could be someone governing over you as well. So like whatever your parents, it could be an authority figure, right? It could be your parents. It could be your father. It could be somebody that's over you. Someone that is governing you. And they are they have your third eye closed because they don't want you to see through something. You see, and the song goes, they got me effed up. I don't trust them. There's somebody around you that you shouldn't trust. They could have this Gemini Libra Aquarius blocked from you out of your life because they don't want you to see the truth. They don't want you to see the truth. They don't want you to know the truth.
somebody doesn't want some type of truth being told about someone. So I don't know why I keep getting someone thinks someone is dead and gone and they're not. Someone is not dead. Someone has not crossed over yet. And it's like maybe they're feeding this to you so that you could believe it enough for it to happen. Like there could be somebody that is literally trying to get you to manifest something that happened that hasn't even happened yet. And they, spirits, like, you need to slow down. But some of you, if you are dealing with a Pisces or a Scorpio, they don't, your ancestors is not, they don't like this person. They don't like this person. Something not being revealed, something not being said, your ancestors don't like it. They're like, when are you going to open your mouth? When are you going to say what you need to say? When are you going to speak the truth? You know exactly what happened. Why aren't you sitting there bringing justice to a situation? Could have something to do with somebody's mother. Could have something to do with your children. You may feel like a fool after speaking the truth or finding out the truth about something. But it's like it brings balance to the situation, even though the truth may hurt. Truth hurts sometimes. Okay, the truth hurts, but it also allows for people that are a part of this facade that need to know the truth to truly, truly heal from a situation. And you've been thinking about it because I feel like it may affect your entire family. You may have to make a decision, but I feel like you're going to decide to sit there and make that leap of faith. And reach out to someone and they're being a new beginning because it's like whoever this person is they could be a Gemini or they could just be someone that has Gemini placements or this is like someone that you consider a soulmate and you have here male ancestors encouraging you to do it because it'll bring mental and emotional healing to you you'll have good times and fun again this person could help you nurture and help you heal some toxic behaviors or toxic things that may have happened to you uh, and get this stagnancy out of your life. Because for some of you, you know that you have had some traumas since you were like a teenager, whether you're male or female. You may have met this person when you was a teenager. Okay. And you have a lot of love, a lot of passion for this person. You guys may have even created a lot of abundance with one another. You guys like kind of had arguments and fights though because of third party situations here. Okay. That could have gotten, uh, uh, here's that fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That could have gotten in the way or a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces could have gotten in the way. Or this person is the person that you have a son with, a child with, and you thought you were lucky in this situation here. Or you may end up this with with this person this could be someone you know that you questioned for a very long time that this fire sign and it's like the wool was pulled over your eyes and this person really was your person but somebody had you thinking that it wasn't your person they could have told you some lies saying oh your ancestors said they could even be a tarot reader too they could even be someone that quote unquote, has spiritual gifts and probably does have spiritual gifts. It's just the simple fact that they use theirs for evil for the things that they want and, and to put pull wolves over people's eyes and not speak the truth. And you may be seeing that this person, because they blocked your third eye, you couldn't see through their BS. But I'm going to turn this energy upright so that you can see through everything, even though you may be going through things. Okay? For some of you, you're literally like, I have to, you know, see everything for what it is and for what it ain't. And I can't have my emotions in it. So you could be thinking real more logical or you need to. Okay. And you may have to have the courage to question somebody if you don't know the answers to something. Okay. You need to speak up. Say what you need to say. Ask what you need to ask. Because that's the only way you will know. Okay. Let's get an oracle message for you, Sagittarius. We have ready, set, go. So it's time for you to go. It's time for you to sit there and do what you need to do. Okay, we have morning affirmations. Make sure you're speaking nice to yourself. Okay, be kind to yourself. Know that you're worthy of all goodness. You're worthy of forgiveness. You're worthy of having the best out of life. You're worthy to have a, a second chance. 
okay? For some of you, you, there's friendship here. So some of you may want to go hang out with your friends, connect with somebody that you truly know, someone that truly understands the ins and outs of you, the good, the bad, and the ugly of you, okay? Um, for some of you, be mindful because somebody could be leaving their kid. Like somebody don't pay attention to their kids. They more entertaining their friends than they are their children. So be mindful of that. Maybe you're the one that's always watching the kids and it's like, or taking care of the kids. And it's like, Spirit's like, no, you need to go have fun now. Leave them with them. And then it says, let yourself receive. Allow others to give you love and care. Receive without guilt or apologies. Okay. Yeah, you guys, you'll... I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm getting to, if somebody is to pass or hasn't passed yet, it's like you know that they will, but if they haven't just yet, it's like you're going to inherit something, but you may feel guilty about it. And and Spirit's like, no, there, there's nothing that you could have done. This was meant to happen, and this is what was gifted to you. They wanted you to have this. Let's get an affirmation card for Sagittarius. We have trust and we have story of my life. Maybe a lot of you guys, you've had to deal with um, a lot of people passing and maybe you were just lucky every time someone passed, they left you something or um, this is you just trusting the fact that, you know, um, everything's going to work out like it's supposed to, you know, uh, life is a beautiful yet ugly story, you know, something that we just have to understand that life is not always going to be rainbows and sprinkles all the time okay but make the just trust and know that you're gonna get through the good times you're gonna get through the bad times and no time lasts forever okay and yeah letting go letting so you some of you you may need to just let go of a premonition that you may have had or something like that or let go of a situation um that no longer serves you okay so that you can just know that no matter what decision you make, there was nothing that you can do. Like everything happens in God's plan. Uh, and let me get some homegirl advice for you. Hot yoga. Some of you need to do some yoga. Just do some stretching. For others of you, you met your match and you don't like it. LOL, they are marrying you. So if you're dealing with someone that, you know, may have psychic gifts just like you, but they use theirs for bad or you use yours for bad and they use theirs for good. Um... You guys are still kind of within the same if you are with each other or dealing with each other. It's just that your know, opposites attract sometimes, you know? Um, I was trying to hear what song was playing, but it's a Drake song. I can't think of the name of it. But yeah, you guys, you'll be okay. All right. Um, don't be afraid of your gifts because some people right now, their gifts are heightening and it can be scary at first when you start um, realizing the gifts that you have or if you already have gifts and now you're tapping into new gifts and it's just like it gets overwhelming for it's just like breathe, okay? Ground yourself so that you can, you know, figure it out and don't just jump on to things, you know, test it out, work with it, practice with it before you just go out there and be like, hey, I have this gift. They're like, no, sit with this. Sit still with this. Don't go telling everybody this because everybody don't need to know that you have certain gifts, okay? Um, but I love you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time. Bye.